Hello everyone, King Boo Space here and welcome back to another video of Juno Origins. It's been a little while since I've played Juno Origins because of everything that's been going on with the rocket launches and stuff. And But here we are back and I have decided to make my very own the Arca Space Eco Rocket, which is this rocket right here. So the Eco Rocket is this small little rocket that can... um. That is built by Arca Space with um one of the um um designs is that it's a water rocket. The first stage and the second stage is a water is is fueled by water. And not only that, it also has an arrow spike as well, which you could just barely see it right there. And then the third stage up here is um burning a uh, uh, Carolox. And then the fairing, which is actually not fairing, it's just like a little thing that opens and closes, will open like that to deploy the payload, which is, which this rocket can only carry 30 kilograms. I believe it's 12, somewhere around like the 13 and the 15 meter tall limit. So it's like around electron size, I should say. Three, two, one. Okay. And then we're going to release. Oh. Oh, we're getting there. There we go. Lift off of the eco rocket. And there it is. It's lifting off now. So we're out in the middle. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, we can see land right there. That this is where um, DIC is at. I believe that's the VAB building right there. So we're pretty far away. But that's just to give you a little thing that it launches. The Eco Rocket can launch in the ocean. Now the first stage and second stages are reusable, while the third stage is not reusable. So the first stage has a parachute and it's gonna, the parachute will deploy to slow it down and then the first stage will use its um, engines to, to softly land. And then the second stage will only use a parachute and it won't use the engines to land. So you can see the fins are getting a little um, heating, but that's okay. Um, we're just going to keep going until we're at 27 kilometers. I should move this down a bit so that you guys can see. And then once we draw down, we'll separate the first stage. That first stage is going to coast up until it parachute deploys and then it will prepare to land. And then, there we go. We have ignition on the second stage. Which is also which also has a water rocket engine. And um everything is looking good. So far it's pretty good so far. And what I'm also gonna do is just to target um the first stage so that I know if we're getting close. Now obviously it kind of feels like that this rocket is not gonna launch anytime soon or it may be a cancelled a cancelled thing because they're working on their other rocket called the Eco Heavy which is this huge rocket like it's difficult to describe without putting a picture on the left side of your screen it is very big and um Drybone Space is working on building that rocket and maybe he might upload the video of it but once if he does upload the video I'll put the link in the description down below so you guys can check that out it's, it's pretty amazing it's pretty outstanding so we're about to approach uh, miniature cutoff on the um, second stage right now and that the third stage will separate and it does yeah the first stage is coming down slightly
All right, first stage is drawing down. I mean, second stage. And there we go. We have stage separation. And now the third stage with his kerosene rocket will take it the final bit of Pela into orbit. We can see the first stage is getting very close, but I'm going to do my best to get into orbit before it does. Oh no! That's not good. Oh, and the first stage just crashed. So the first stage just crashed, which, um, that's not good, but I am going to switch over to, um, the first stage to give you guys a little look of how this works. But for now, we have made it to orbit. We're going to open the fairing. Let me rotate this so you guys can see. And then this 30 kilogram block separates and that's how the eco rocket works except for the reusability so we're going to switch over to the um, first stage so that you guys could get a little look of how the landing works all right so we're now at the first stage getting ready to land now this has a parachute it will use a parachute to slow down and then it will actually uses its own aerospike water engine to uh, make a nice uh, splashdown landing whatever you like to say um, so now you might see this you know as it tumbles over that's probably because the fins in the bottom right here but that's okay the parachute should um, be able to keep it um, so that the, once the parachute deploys it would flip it back flip it back vertical instead of just landing upside down so we're standing by here for the parachutes to deploy on the first stage let me make sure so that the logo is facing on the shaded area there you go parachutes deployed Hopefully they will inflate quickly. There we go, there we go. Okay, now this happened before. This happened before. Repack. Deploy again, please. Oh yeah, slow-mo. The best way to do it, I believe, is do it in slow-mo. Come on. E Ooh. Okay. Wait until it stays chill. Now. There we go. All we need to do, that little trick there is just to put slow-mo on so that it doesn't, the pressure doesn't, um, you know, snap again. But there we go. Now all we need to do is just fire up those um, engines and then hopefully we'll get a good landing. So we get close. And then we'll fire up the engines. Now. And here we go. First landing. I'm going to do my best to see if I can make it the softest possible okay Ooh. close enough that's good enough and we have landed the first stage has landed um, somehow vertical but that's okay and um, the parachutes down there now let me see if I can cut it can I cut it no I can't um, so there we go the first stage is upright and successfully landed now let's go back to the second stage and see if we can um, land this thing. All right, so you now just saw the first stage successfully splashing down. Now we're gonna go back to the second stage. And this is the second stage. It's currently at 61 kilometers. It's going to re-enter. And we're deploying the parachutes. We're gonna wait here. Now this only needs, yeah, ignore that. This only needs a parachute to slow down. It doesn't need the second stage engines to land. So it's just only going to splash down with parachutes, which hopefully it will deploy. So we're standing by for those parachutes to deploy right around here. There we go. There it is. I'm going to do my best to lock this thing upwards so that it can land vertically. 
instead of landing upside down. Ooh, there we go. That's how it works. And now the second stage will just gently land in the sea. Here it comes. There we go. The second stage has successfully splashed down. And now the two stages, the first stage and the second stage have landed successfully in the ocean. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this little rocket that I made uh, all by myself. Um, it's pretty amazing and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens on this little rocket. For now guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoy. My name is Kibu Space and I'll see you in the next video.